Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you more skills on how to take truly and completely inaccessible documents and that are all images of text and not one stitch of text within these documents, PowerPoints and a Word document and make them into all text. Now your power is going to be in Google Apps and I'm going to be using a mouse today, but I'll tell you the keyboard commands to use if you're using Talking Software. So you're gonna do an insert F5 and you're gonna download this to Drive. Uh, you can also open it in Previewer mode. And as all you have to do is just hit Enter and Open. Now you're going to go ahead and tab around to open with, or you can insert F5 to open with also. Um, and if you want to see totally how inaccessible it is, uh, well, you already know. If you open this in slides, you, <laughs> JAWS, you're talking software, it's not going to say anything. It's going to say uh, just blank, and it truly is blank. So you actually see all these words, and you think, oh, this is text, right? No, it's not. Not only that, you come down here, look at all the sideways work. Uh, so not even sighted kids can um, do this work. And I'm not sure what the teacher had in mind for the sighted kids on that because, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, but a lot of this work is sideways. And so the sighted kids can't even do it. But that's not my concern. My concern is the blind students and how they're going to access it. So I have uh, in Drive, I have actually, you're going to hit your applications key and you're going to go to connect more apps. And here, and visually, you can actually see all the apps that I have in here. And my favorite are PDF to Word Converter. Uh, but once I open it and find out that truly this is all image, you can't even use PDF to Word Converter um, because it has to at least be a viable PDF. At least it has to be images of text. And this, this PowerPoint even goes beyond that step. It's one of the most inaccessible and that happens. So you just have to think outside the box and go even further with it. So this truly is an image. And not only an image, it's 37 pages of images. So even if a para was to sit down and type all of this out, it would take that para a long time to do, which is very ineffective. So we're gonna do image translate documents to text. And we're going to click on that program. Of course, you do insert F5, go to open with, or tab around to open with. It's a drop down menu, and then you just down arrow to it. And as soon as you go there, you're going to go ahead and insert F5 and do convert text and translate, or with the mouse, you can just click on that. And it starts to convert it. Now, the first time you actually open these programs, it's going to ask you to authorize it. So you have to do your insert F5, A to authorize, uh, before it'll even go through all of this process. Now, once you have it all converted and your talking software will tell you when it's done, you're gonna bring up your links and you're going to go to view and you're gonna click view. And what it does is it opens it up into slides because this is a Google program and that's what you do. Now the difference is, and the way a sighted person would actually know it's text is you can click in the box now and you can actually move it along. And right there, you know, you just get so excited. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's actually text because it truly did change it to text. Before, this was all image based. There was actually nothing there. Now the next step is when you're in Google, remember all your menu keys are Alt and Shift. So Alt, Shift, F to file, D to download as, and what you wanna do is don't open it in Microsoft PowerPoint because you're still gonna have um, a whole lot of additional work. This is how you have less work. You're gonna go down to plain text and we're going to enter on plain text and it's gonna ask you to open it in Notepad and of course you're gonna say yes. And so you just hit enter on yes. And it opens it in Notepad. Visually, you're gonna look at this and go, oh my gosh, this is a bunch of garbage. No, you see text there, that's great. But this is how you straighten it out really, really fast. You're gonna do a control A to select it all and copy it. And then you're gonna open Word. Now I have a hot key for it, so I'm just gonna open Word quickly. I'm gonna move it back. I've got three monitors going on here, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste it. Now, instantly it comes out and you're gonna go ahead and control home. And there it is. Now this is beautiful, um, just flawless. Just incredible, look at that. All the lines, everything, all the sideways text is immediately realigned, 
set up, I mean, the whole thing. I was just so incredibly excited. Now, there are a lot of gaps of space here, but if this is a blind student, and I tell them all the time, just listen past the gaps. Now, if this is a para, well, all the para has to do is just select it and get rid of all the blanks. And we're just talking a drag down, how fast to get rid of all that, you know, just gone that fast. Um, okay, beautiful. So that's one. And, and PowerPoints are far more problematic than text. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back. And I'm going to go back to my Word and I'm going to click back and then I'm going to go back and get a next document. Here is the next document and uh, the biggest problem with this, even if it does open in tables, this is incredibly confusing for a blind student. It's going to read uh, Europe economy and then they down and it literally only reads special and then you got to go down ization. Well, if this is a beginner or student and this student's in sixth grade, uh, and then she tabs over and it will read the product. That's all fine. Now it would have been nice if this actually would have been, you know, specialization and then tab over. And then she tabs again. Where the problem comes in is you now have, you know, a set of uh, columns here to columns. That's fine. The thing that gets really confusing here. So you've got trade and then the definition. And then you go over here and this column covers two sections of the table. So they tab over, listen to this, tab over to the term, and then they tab back here, and then when they're tabbing again, they pop back over to currency exchange. So unless you're a really advanced student, and even if you're advanced, this becomes really incredibly confusing. Look at this, you have four sections covering two cells on the other side. So you're gonna tab here, tariff, definition, tab to European here, and then you tab to quota, and then the definition, European Union again, and definition, and then you go to embargo, and it's incredibly confusing. And wow, you take a beginner child, and this is even worse. And what's sad about this is the words aren't even, they're not even lined up correctly. Um, so, and even visually, once again, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the poor sighted kids who have to deal with this, um, yeah, this information. Anyway, once again, we're doing this for blind students. And we're gonna to go to Open With and we're going to go to Image Translate. Uh, just because that is, if you're not even sure and you don't even wanna take time to go to PDF Converter, you can go ahead and go right here. Of course, Insert F5, Convert Text and Translate. We're gonna go ahead and translate this. And we're gonna go down to View and once again, it's going to open and here it is. Okay, and we've got some other uh, funky things going on there. It doesn't matter because what you're going to do is the exact same thing. You're going to go to File, you're going to go to Download As, you're going to go to Plain Text. You can do Rich Text Format also. So let's go ahead and go to Rich Text Format and it will open up directly into Word. Okay, and then Enable Editing. Okay. And what it does, as you can see, is now the table is actually straightened out. And you notice it actually does blank lines instead of include it with all the additional. So you've only got one, European Union is only gonna be one time. Now the slight confusing thing is they're gonna to go to quota and they'll hear blanks. But let me tell you, hearing blanks uh, in column three and four is far more understandable then constantly hearing the repeat of those. So now this is a beautiful table and you don't even have to copy and paste or anything like that. The nice thing also is when they tab here, it's actually gonna read entrepreneur, but it's gonna do entree dash preneur. Yeah, that's really odd. But you can also, uh, you know, para once again can straighten this out and the words straighten out also. Uh, I'm a big believer in going to my layout and my margins and I go ahead and just click on narrow and it completely narrow it, uh, narrows it. Now the para can of course get rid of the few little hiccups that was laid out for the sighted kids too. Uh, but it's so much easier to adapt and adjust this. And uh, so for the younger kids, of course, the paras are gonna be doing all of this. But your older kids, absolutely, by middle school, you want them to be able to adapt a lot of this work themselves. Um, anyway, and it lines it up just spectacularly, okay? So, 
So those are just some really incredible tools. Google, uh, Google is the way to go. There are so many apps out there to take that completely inaccessible work and make it accessible for the kids really quickly. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.